Well, here we are. The last dungeon of Crusader of Sensei. Y'all ready? Well, let's go. Yeah, I don't remember how many uh, videos it took last time. I think I got through it faster this time, though. Might as well go ahead and clear that up. I LP'd this a long time ago. Along with a few other things. A few other things we'll be covering. I was never really satisfied with it. I, for one, I've never really had access to good recording equipment. Like, audio recording. And even now, I'm, I'm basically using the microphone on my laptop. Because I, I have nothing else. <laughs> but I do hope to be picking up a, a better microphone fairly soon. Finally, at a place where I've got some extra money. And I can start, to, I want to do some like short story readings. Really inspired by creepy Boston readers, but uh, I was going to be for, looking for more funny stories. Stuff like, well, like uh, Wings of uh, Freedom. I mean, it's my story, but I'm sure other people have funny stories out there. This dungeon, <laughs> nice segue there. Now, this dungeon actually has a lot, a pretty big jump in difficulty. Some of these puzzles are much harder than what we were dealing with before. I'd hesitate to say everything, anything is like particularly, is like really tough, but um, it does kind of require you to know what you have, what abilities you have, and how to mix some of them. Like that one with the uh, butterfly. This one here is pretty simple. This is like ice, so you need to get a good running start on it. There you go. And as soon as you're going really fast, you jump, and you get all the way across. Hopefully not jump back in. Uh, the switch here is basically a, uh, yeah, that armadillo thing. Toss the armadillo on there, and proceed. should mention, this is my favorite, probably my favorite Crusader of Sensei track. This, if not this, then just the general Soleil Town theme. Let's see. Okay, you gotta watch to avoid those black holes, because those will hurt you. Uh, I believe you can use Dippy to pass this one quickly. I might if I can't get it. Let's go. Ugh. Yeah, forget it. Let's just get Dippy. Okay. I think we're over halfway through the, the uh, this dungeon at this point. Okay. Now we need to go back to having a sword. I'm not sure, I just, I was never really satisfied with my old LPs. Felt like I was trying to ape other LPers too much. And here, really, I just want to go through these games. Be more informative. I know I don't, I'm not as good at the spontaneous, funny con content. Oh, gotta watch this in here. That last one inverts. Okay, for some reason, these won't hurt you, unlike the ones we passed earlier. Ah, this was kind of interesting. And you have to equip the butterfly. It, it basically just have to throw your sword over here, and when you throw the sword, it makes the tiles appear. It's best to use the mow and the butterfly, though, so you can go ahead and clear off everything. You try to do this on the go, you're going to end up in trouble. I mean, you definitely want that golden apple. Okay. Some might argue the squirrel thing would be useful here, the squirrel and butterfly, but, uh, no. <laughs> Just no. Okay, we're not going to do anything too fancy here. Again, as a kid, I was always obsessed with doing every little square. No, I guess I'm just more, much more practical. Just get enough. Get a good two, two tile spot path. Oop, I gotta watch it here. Yeah, see, these tiles, even though they're here now, they will break as soon as you start t uh, sitting on them. They want to make sure you get there uh, get there and get there pretty quick. There we go. Okay, and yeah, let's switch back to uh, our standards. Yeah, see, they're, they're cracking really fast. And, you know, I bet one more would have me at four big hearts. I wonder if that's how many are there are in the game. I just missed one. Probably. Some secret somewhere, something I passed and just didn't think about. 
Always a problem on games you have to backtrack. Okay. Well, again, you can use Dippy to pass through these quick, but, uh... Okay. We're right at the end now. Okay. I'm guessing this is, like, the moment the monsters came here. They mentioned they've all been sealed here by something called Spirit Energy. And here's the Monster Mother, who would become Dahlia Valley. Okay, they go, just where you kind of find out the full backstory. But basically... Oh, I'm going to wait for her to say it. There you go. They say world, I mean, I guess it means some sort of, like... other realm connected to the planet. Maybe like where the the Espers in Final Fantasy VI hit away or something like that. He says return to their planet, but it kind of says the monsters are all aliens, which is weird. I suppose it's not. It's It might be a translation thing. I'm not sure if the... I don't think the American version says it's another planet. Long story short, though, we need to beat the Spirit Force to get uh, all these monsters home. To give them a way home. And the, the spirit forces are guarded, the spirit force is guarded by these other five forces who happen to represent the senses. First, well, this one, the first one I chose is the eyeball one. The trick here is you can't see him, but you got to hit him with your sword anyway. You could possibly use, like, the butterfly to make this a bit easier, but, uh, I don't know. As soon as you can get, I should do the, uh, super cold nights. It might be a little faster. Oh, no, I'm doing a ton of damage as it is. Okay, now that you nailed it. Once you nail him, yeah, he, can't, he doesn't... If I were wanting to make this boss fight harder, like being a programmer, if I was a programmer, just definitely when he gets hit to have him disappear and disappear somewhere else. Even then, though, it would just make the fight longer. It wouldn't make it better. Well, there are sights. And moving on to the next one. Oh. Yeah, if you get hurt, you can come back and talk to Monster Mama. She will heal you up. Okay, this must be Touch. And as I recall, this is kind of like the Baron monster where he can't really they can't really hurt you. They can just shove you around. In this case, and the spikes. Let's see. They do pretty good damage. You just need to. Oh. Oh. Um, yeah, let's just go with this. Best ice magic. This will do better. Just drain their energy right out. Yeah, it looks like it's doing about four. Yeah, about four per hit. So my sand restored only does two. Okay. Shame it doesn't amplify the power of the sword. That would make it a monster. But to be fair, this game's pretty easy as it is. Okay. That takes care of touch. And let's switch back to our basics. And yeah, next one is going to be sound. Okay. Not much to this one. He jump when it jumps, it'll change the board, making you slide in one direction. So best to get on one end and try to jump to the other end as it reappears. But other than that, just your basic slash him. In. Oh, okay. Oop. Yeah, you can't really tell which way it's going to slide until you're already sliding. So best to avoid it as much as possible. Okay, getting close. Yeah, I'm gonna stop by Monster Mom while we're done with this one. So I have to give them credit. They could have easily just made this like your standard boss rush. I mean, it's honestly kind of set up like that. You can imagine having to fight everything over again. 
but they actually went to the trouble of making five different challenges. Okay. <laughs> kind of hard to call this one a boss. This is essentially just Pac-Man. Okay. Pac-Man, where the ghosts are two of each ghost, or two of the ghosts are combined to each side of the screen. Sadly, the apples, you, oh, you can tell, they aren't actually healing me. Anyway, this is supposed to just, oop, oh, in trouble, okay. This would be the sense of taste, which would leave us with, um, hearing, sight, touch, taste, smell? Yeah, it would be smell, wouldn't it? Huh. Okay. Oh yeah, this guy. Can't hurt him with any any sort of abilities, but you notice I'm cracking the floor as I step on it. At any point when you jump, it'll make any tile you're attached to that's been cracked turn into spikes. So yeah, you gotta kind of hurt yourself on this one. The trick is to put down a lot of cracked spots, and then yeah, I was hoping that would work, but <laughs> nope, gotta hurt yourself. Fortunately, he's not too strong, so just a few more hits and he'll be gone. Four more. I guess he's smelling you? One more. And there he goes. As the fifth of the senses taken out. Now we only have the spectral force, the thing that's keeping the monsters from going home. Gonna get healed up real here. Okay, and let's do it. Last boss. Well, let's go. Okay, the trick to this one is you can't hurt him until you have him activated. He's active when his eye opens up in the middle. The only way to do this is to hit him with the dodo power. Like so. Again, you can quickly switch and get a, few, a free hit off on them. Again, if you know what you're doing, this is not a hard fight. I've already like, cut him down to half. Oh, missed him. Well, lucky though, I might be able to do reattach the dodo thing. Nope, didn't work. Okay. Might be because of the flame. Yeah, there it goes. It was easy now, but again, not knowing that, not knowing that you need the dodo to hit him with the dodo, you're sitting here running around trying every combination you can think of. I mean, naturally, you start with a super ice, but, uh, oh, there we go. Yeah, and you can see the tiles start disappearing, which makes it even harder. Fortunately, we got him before it got too tough. Well, the monsters all get sucked back into the underground. No word whether or not we created a barrier to keep them down there. I might have to do a Let's Fill It of Undertale at some point. <laughs> I can't say it's an inspiration for the Elseborn Corporate, but damn, it's definitely an inspiration now. Okay. God brings you back, and what do you know? Things have changed. Since the monsters have never technically existed in this world, everything we did didn't happen. Oddly enough, we retained the ability to jump. Ah, it turns out that this house belongs to these people. Trainer Duffy and the old lady from Dahlia Valley. I've always liked it when games do this. They, get, they give you the chance to sort of walk around. And I, th I remember Earthbound did this. Oh, I'm sure there are others. That's one of the reasons I like the... I was upset with Fallout 3 when it came out. It wasn't that the ending was bad, even though it was kind of stupid that you couldn't send Hawks into the radiated area. Or Fox, I can't remember. What was his name? The, the, the Super Ogre who joins him. I think it was Fox. But, um... There was the fact that after everything you did changing the world, you, just, you can't keep going. Like, in a standard Elder Scrolls game, you beat the game and just kind of keep messing around. I don't know. The, the uh, Shattered Steel, I think, expansion 
was great just because you could kind of see how the world had changed since the end of the game. I keep getting sidetracked. We're done. And just kind of going through town talking to everybody. Let's see. I don't understand this. The plaza doesn't exist yet. Because they're building it. I don't know. I'm trying to figure out how the monster had some sort of impact on when it got built. More than likely, the programmers just didn't want to have to put that area in. Let's see. Yeah, the statue of the goddess looks like a mannequin without arms. That's just creepy. Okay. Let's see. Uh, oh, where's my friend Alice? Oh, my dog is gone. And eh, she's saying I need to go walk him. Ah, eh, fair enough. Can't talk to animals anymore. Let's see. Oh, this is the, um... Oh, okay. Hopefully it's not contagious. This is the inn, I believe. Which serves no purpose in the game, because you never need to, um... I think they actually there's a joke about that at the beginning. Some of the characters mentioned that he doesn't know why he opened an inn because apples are much easier to get. Okay. Eh, I guess I haven't changed that much. Ah, but look, my dad's here. Yeah. Okay. Uh, let's see. Donnie's not here. Says he might be with some other dogs. Well, we've seen another dog in this uh, area. Let's put finish checking out this stuff, though. Oh, it's the couple that eloped. So they just married a little bit sooner than this for this reality. He kind of looks like you in a string. Like, it, I don't know if it's just my imagination. Let's see. Uh, no, why? Yeah, I'm, I'm glad that got thrown into the ending. That's that's great. Thank you. No, no, I heard it once. Kind of like if you think of um, if you've seen the thief on the cobbler, the scene where he's crawling up the duck to get into the castle. Until then, you look at the lake around the castle. And it's a beautiful golden lake. Until you realize it's connected to their toilet and. Suddenly, the gold is a lot less beautiful. Okay. Let's go see the king. You're 14 years old. What are you doing? You're 14 here. Huh. You take care of yourself. Cool by me. Uh, sure. I know what the symbol is. Everybody knows. <laughs> um, maybe you could remind me. What is the symbol? Uh, the Statue of the Goddess. Oh, the Armless Mannequin again. Very nice. Very uplifting. Let's see. Uh, <laughs> well, well, well. <laughs> we meet again. Yeah. A little bit born in the wrong century. I'd like to think he remembers the other reality. And now he's just freaked out because everyone thinks he's a psycho with a sword. I guess that's a bit sadistic. I mean, damn, he probably spent his whole life thinking he needed to be a hero and to suddenly find the world like this. Oh yeah, catch this. It's still possible to die. You can, you can sit there and jump into the fire until you get killed. Obviously, I'm not going to do that, but um, I don't know if that was something they threw in there for the heck of it or... Oh well. well. Well, obviously the switch is open because we don't have a sword to throw. Oh, and there's a dog. Looks like the king's pug. And there's our dog. Let's see what the maid has to say. Yes, if only you could talk to dogs. Oh. Got him back on my team. He still does his whatever it is he does. Which in the universe of that monster is extra useless. I'm just kidding. He's an adorable little mutt. Well, talk to everybody. Got our dog. 
But let's be off. Time for a little walk, I suppose. Yeah, I've done everything. Nothing left. Well, yeah. The whole point of going somewhere is to not be here, but... Oh, does someone have a confession? And that is Crusader of Sinti. The ending credits, we're going to be walking our dog and meeting up with all of our animal friends. Which I guess means they all remember what happened, too. This is a great little adventure game, and I really don't see how it's avoided uh, the virtual console. Then again, we're talking about the company that took forever to bring us Earthbound, so... Hmm. Take it as you will. In terms of the Elsewhere Incorporate, I'd have to say... The story as a whole kind of taught me that villains... This aren't necessarily always, you know, just one note. But this is something I've heard, um... The, uh, the Spoony one mentioned before, is that, uh... The concept of a purely evil villain... Is kind of silly. Because no, everyone is the hero of their own story. In this case, the monsters... The monsters we saw by our time were all sort of savage. But back in the beginning, they were brought here by accident. And they couldn't get home. By freeing them, we've... Well, made a better future. I hope presumably the monsters are happier wherever they are, too. Or, you know, they're sealed underground and slowly growing in number until they're overpopulated. Until one human child falls down and, and you know what, no, no. no we're, we might do an Undertale playthrough later, but we'll get, we'll get to that then. <sighs> until then, just, just keep watching the ending credits. It's funny that the dodo is there, because it sort of implies... Oh, well, that implies probably more, and I'm, I'm probably thinking too much into it. And Thomas was a lot bigger than the rest of them, though. Tippy got huge. Well, in any case, that's Crusader of Sensi. I hope you enjoyed it, and next time, I think we'll start on Soul Blazer. Until then, sweet dreams. <laughs>